Hey guys, I'm out here today to maiden my Caparina 2. Um, I am going to launch it via auto launch. Uh, I know, on my maiden. And see how that goes. Um, I have uh, been through a lot of uh, the settings, all the auto launch settings, all that sort of stuff. Read a lot of forums and so forth. So, um, hopefully it doesn't crash into the ground and burn. I'm gonna launch it straight behind me into the wind, uh, up over my head, and uh, hopefully it's all good. Let's just check the services. Ready to fly, ready to fly. Yep, ready to fly. that all looks ready good. Got uh, 13 satellites, good GPS fix. Let's check goggles. Goggles are good and recording. So, um, wish me luck. Engines are. <laughs> Holy shit! GPS. Good. It works. Oh my god! It is fucking beautiful. Battery ninety. Oh my god! It is handling so amazingly I can't even express how well this is handling doing 130 k's an hour oh my god it is beautiful like I don't even need any trim no trim it is perfect Altitude's a little low for my liking. Oh my god. Oh, I am so glad that. Battery 70%. I am so glad that it's done this. Oh, it is beautiful to fly. absolutely beautiful the pids are fine i am not upset about any of that battery 60 percent disregard the battery i don't think i've set up my uh lure script properly now let's check cruise mode cruise mode altitude hold active oh it is bang on the money That is beautiful. Now let's try and return to home. Okay, it. I know it's close to home anyway, but uh, let's just see how well it's loitering. Oh, that dipped down a little too much for my liking, but it came back up. It came back up. That's okay. getting ready at any chance to flick it back up but it feels good all right let's just put it back on. into low battery 30 percent ah it's not 30 percent low battery 28 percent i can see it on the screen it looks good low battery 26 percent i just don't think i have my little script set up properly low battery 24 percent low battery and I think I don't have it set in uh, INAV correctly either, so... No, it is beautiful to fly. Still 3.8 volts. Whew. I don't have any waypoint set, so I can't set that. Battery critical, seven But it is beautiful. Let's do a trim. Battery critical, one percent. That's my trim. 
No, actually disregard that. Zero percent. And let's do... Let's do a auto tune. Oh, that spin is beautiful. Battery critical. Battery critical. Beautiful. Battery critical. All right, okay. I'm going to bring it in for a landing. I don't think I need to do the trim because it is like bang on the money with the trim. Battery critical. Um, let's give it a nice wide, really nice wide landing. Actually, let's turn towards it. There we are. Let's turn towards it. Uh, battery's not critical at all. Okay, here we are. Don't know where my car is. I think it's this way. Battery critical. Yeah, that looks like me. All right, let's bring it in for a very, very nice and smooth landing. Let's see what I can do. I don't want to crash this. Battery critical. Engines disarmed. Ready to fly. Ready to fly. Ready oh. To fly. oh. It is down, it is down, it is in one piece. So, um, yeah, the Cappy 2, Cappy 2 does not nosedive. Uh, I'll put my settings for the auto launch. I can thank a lot of the people from INAV and from the TBS Cappy 2 Facebook groups. Amazing plane, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, thanks guys, bye bye. So, I've just uh, got back home now after the maiden of the Cappy 2. I got a few things that uh, I'm thinking about, and I just realised my print has failed. Awesome. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Look at that. Ah, this is printing in the air. Oh, time to stop. Never mind. Okay, let's get back to it. So yeah, back from the flight of the back from the flight of the Cappy Two, the maiden flight. Uh, a few things that I tried to do out there, like the uh, auto tune and the auto trim, which didn't wasn't successful because obviously I when I landed it, I just disarmed it and turned it off. Um, the reason that I disarmed it and turned it off was because I was nervous. There's uh, some aircraft sort of in the area, and there are a lot of people with uh, motorbikes and kids and stuff, so. I was kind of a little bit on edge, and you kind of do that when you have a maiden flight of, uh, of an aircraft as well. But um, a few things that I can suggest for people who are trying to fly this aircraft, or this Cappy 2, is take your time. Get CG correct, make sure it is balanced correct, uh, make sure it is mechanically trimmed correct. I downloaded a STL for a, um, a trim, like a, sorry, a... A, uh, a guide for the reflex on the elevons and as you saw it flew just perfect like um, I, I don't know if that was the flight controller taken over I really got to test it in manual but it was absolutely amazing I did have a little bit of damage on landing though um, I don't know if you can see it it's this winglet here and all it is is it's just come away from the foam so a little bit of glue and it will be good as gold it's not even it's not even dented um, was worried about the VTX falling out that looks perfect as well because I put a heat sink on it and um, very very happy with this flight but yeah take your time uh, balance it correctly with a little bit of CG forward uh, I can put all my auto launch settings in the video as well but it is a beautiful beautiful aircraft and a lot of people complain it nose dives and as you see it did not nose dive at all but yeah thank you very much for watching if you liked it hit that subscribe button click the thumbs up and uh maybe you might see you in the next one so peace